Hello friends, if you are looking for a perfect micro niche uh, to start a profitable affiliate blog or website, then this is the video for you. I discovered one more micro niche that will be very profitable to uh, start an affiliate uh, blog or website. So let's uh, talk more about that. That micro niche that I discovered is coffee maker. So this is the niche. So let's look at the data points uh, related to this particular micro niche uh, through the Ahrefs tool. <clears throat> so the search volume uh, is about 76k per month. And if you see the difficulty of the keyboard, it's about 28, which is medium. Okay. So as I always do, uh, let's do the five factor validation for this micro niche and check if it qualifies and satisfies all the criteria. okay let's go and do so my five factor validation number one i look for competition and difficulty <clears throat> so if you look at this particular uh, keyboard uh, if you see the difficulty it is 28 medium so still I would always prefer if you are starting uh, a new blog or new website uh, I would prefer to pick the keywords or topics with uh, difficulty of less than 20 now let's explore further uh, to find out the related topics related to this particular micro niche let's see okay now we got about 175 4k nearly 175k different keywords related to coffee maker micro niche now let's do one more round of filtering so let's filter out all the keywords that have the difficulty less than or equal to 20 let's apply again for the people who are um, not very familiar with this age refs and this technical terms Ahrefs is one of the uh, the most popular and widely used SEO online tool. Of course, it's a paid tool. And KD is uh, nothing but keyword difficulty. Lesser is always easier and better. Okay. So now what I did is out of all 140k keywords uh, associated with Coffee Maker, I filtered out all the keywords which have difficulty less than 20. So any keyword which is having less than 20 difficulty will always be relatively easy for us to rank so uh, to start a new blog or new website I always suggest and I, I also practice myself to pick the topics uh, with the keywords that have lesser difficulty than 20 okay now if you see there are nearly 10,000 10 k keywords with a difficulty less than 20 that's that's gold mine okay so this is amazing uh, so that means our first criteria first factor competition and difficulty this particular micro niche has passed okay now let's look at the second factor second factor what i look for is search volume okay or i call it as traffic so now let's look at so if you see all these um, related keywords, the volume is about uh, 63K, 30K, 22K, amazing, huge numbers. Volume is nothing but the number of searches for this particular keyword on an average in a month. That's what it is. Okay. Huge, huge. If you see, 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 see this. One coffee maker, keyword difficulty is only 7, but nearly 30K searches per month. Hamilton Beach Coffee Maker, difficulty is 6, but you have about a 17k searches per month, right? This is huge. So, that means this also satisfies the second criteria of search volume and traffic. Then, the third topic, third factor that I consider is scope for content. So, I also want to check if there are enough uh, topics to write related to this particular micro niche 
with lesser difficulty and good search volume so that uh, I can we can actually keep on writing when we start the blog right so how I actually check it out is one is anyway the uh, we filtered out the keywords for uh, difficulty less than 20 I will also look at uh, the keywords I will also apply one more filter with a search volume of minimum 500 let's apply okay let's see this nearly we have we have 349 keywords to be precise with a difficulty less than 20 also have a search volume monthly search volume of more than 500 that's simply awesome okay what it means says you can write article targeting each of these topics listed here you can write one article about uh, QC coffee maker you can write an article targeting bun coffee makers you can write article uh, targeting pour over coffee maker you can pick any of these topics and obviously there will be some redundant topics some uh, irrelevant topics but still if it the the research results is giving about a 349 it's guaranteed that you will be able to find at least about a 200 topics okay perfect so you so you have more than enough of topics to write related to this particular micro niche so it also passed uh, the third factor of scope for content okay now let's look at the fourth factor fourth factor i always look for a reference site as the proof that this micro niche works in few occasions i discovered that in spite of having the very so good numbers uh, the micro niche will not qualify for the uh, for the beginners so what it means is mostly well established sites uh, will be ranking high for this particular for the specific uh, micro niche in that case if you are starting a new blog or new website it will be difficult for you to outrank them okay so then there is no point actually starting that topic right so that's why i also verify if there is any website or blog which with low domain authority that means that is not at established website still ranking well for the topics related to this particular micro niche that's the proof for me that this micro niche is worth of uh, picking up for an affiliated website so i did thorough research and i discovered there is one website there are a few more but one that really attracted me is the edgecoffee.com okay let's look at the data points related to this particular website let's check uh, in hdfs how this particular website is looking like okay see here the domain authority or domain rating is just 15 so the again for the benefit of the people who are not very familiar uh, with these technical terms dem domain uh, rating or domain authority is nothing but how how strong this website uh, established in the search world for example uh, for facebook you will find domain authority about 100 that means that's well established but for this particular website you can see that domain authority is just only 15 okay so it is not so difficult for a new website to achieve the domain authority with few backlinks and uh, some good content okay so this motivates us so now if you further look at analyze this particular website this is ranking for 2.6k two, 2 keywords 2600 keywords this particular website is ranking okay and the most important thing is it is actually the value of the particular trophy is about 3.5k dollars per month okay now let us look at uh, some of the keywords for which this particular website is outranking so here you go if you see see here look at this particular keyword Tilongi magnifica so it has a volume of about a 4800 and this website with just only domain authority of 15 able to rank at seventh position on first page itself now look at something here yagia brera it has a volume of 2500 and this website is able to rank at sixth position okay so 
if you observe right so keyword difficulties of all these uh, particular topics is only three one two that's why when i pick up the difficulty right i go for the uh, keywords which have keyword difficulty less than 20. what it means is there are more than enough topics and keywords uh, which you can target and write good pieces of content even with less domain authority you will be able to outrank that's the message okay that's a perfect uh, so what it means is uh, it also this micro niche also possesses the fourth factor Refer we have a proof that this micro niche uh, can be successful even if we start a new blog okay and the last factor that i consider is earning potential so everything is fine but at the end of day we do affiliated uh, marketing to earn some money so we need to also check if this particular uh, micro niche has enough of earning potential if we go ahead and write uh, blogs and content uh, pieces onto this i check in two ways one is i look at the cpc again uh, for the people who are not very familiar with this term cpc stands for cost per click higher the better to earn more okay uh, so if you look at here most of these uh, top search words you can find that cpc is nearly about one dollar or more than that barring very few right 1.1 1.3 1.9 1.3 1 1.5 this is very encouraging so this has a um, keyword with less difficulty more volume and also high cpc the second way also i uh, how i validate this is i look at the current website that uh, the the reference that website that we just uh, picked up and look at how much it is earning it is actually earning per month of course earning in the sense the if you monetize the traffic that is uh, that this particular website is generating then that is equivalent to about three three thousand four hundred dollars per month okay three point four k so if you properly monetize you will be able to generate this much of money sometimes the data point may be uh, you may be little average so you will may have to uh, take a portion of it even if you take it about let's say maybe a 30 percent uh, of this still there is a very um, high potential to earn about a thousand dollars from uh, this particular micro niche another very interesting thing while analyzing this particular website i looked at how many pages this particular website has this is very surprising i was really shocked this has at about only 23 pages that are ranking well so if just uh, 23 piece, pieces of content if this website able to perform so well just imagine if you are able to produce about a 50 or 100 pieces of content on this micro niche how your site may perform just imagine so there is huge huge potential and also an opportunity to start a very profitable uh, affiliate uh, website if you uh, pick the micro niche of a coffee maker okay that's all for today hope this is very helpful for you uh, thanks for watching uh, i request you to like my video and also please uh, subscribe to my channel i will keep on uh, producing uh, more videos uh, to uh, and talk about uh, lot many micro niches that i will discover as part of uh, my research thank you